Hi, I'm USA Today bestselling author Jennifer Youngblood. I can't wait for y'all to read my new rom-com, The One-on-One on Love. I'm going to read the prologue. Here we go. The tension in the room is thick enough to cut. He's as nervous as I've ever seen him. My heart skips, skitters, and trips over itself when he gets down on one knee. He whips out a small velvet box from his pocket and peers up at me with soft, hopeful eyes. This is really happening, my mind screams. How many times have I dreamt of this moment? Now that it's here, I can hardly breathe. There's classical music playing in the background, but I can hardly hear it because it's drowned out by the frenzied pounding of my pulse. My gaze flits around the room. He thought of everything. A gourmet dinner, roses, candles. The great philosopher Evelyn K. Donaldson, also known as my mother, often says, If you think you're in love with someone, but you're not sure, then you're actually not in love. For if you're truly in love, then you'll feel it clear to the bone. Am I in love? Tears spring to my eyes. Yes, I'm in love, and it cuts me clear to the bone, just like Mom said. Blakely Catherine Donaldson, he says solemnly, will you marry me? Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler long I stood. Thanks, Robert Frost, for that high-definition visual. Am I sorry I can't travel both? Heck no. There's only one road I want to travel. I want it with my entire heart. I bring my hands together and place them over my mouth as the waterworks start. He graces me with a noble smile as if to say, it took me long enough, but I finally came around. He's right. It took him almost as long to reach his decision as it took me to reach mine. Blakely, he prompts, his expression pleading, I love you. A knock sounds at the door. This is followed by a persistent pounding that rattles the windows. He looks past me. Are you expecting someone? I glance back over my shoulder as the door bursts open. Be sure and grab your copy of the one-on-one on love. I can't wait for you to read it.